Okay, let's see. I just found these relocated from my strewn collection, close proximity, and this is why I need better tables and adequate workspace that is not open air, cold wind on cliff edge, winter, and adequate help. But see these tiny pieces right here, if the camera will pick this up, I believe these are part of one of the larger crates that had puzzle pieces. It is very difficult to match, but see the teeniest form right here that fit together. If these are in fact, and they have metallic sparkles, and they have even tiny bits, and like a key, you can see the actual patterns, the angles, if this will pick it up, fit together right there. And then on this side, the depth, even though there is a break ablation and some missing pieces, to be able to put these onto tables, and then and I just lost my place. Make little uh, non-damaging marks of how to put them back together so you can turn and move them and try to fit in the uh, smaller pieces if this is an entry piece that was exploded and had larger pieces in a strewn field find. The depth is appropriate. The little tiny key um, type pieces here that fit with what would appear to be a ablation event which would indicate a low atmosphere entry break which has provided a aerodynamic flight orientated shape of sorts that go with some flow lines and then can almost make a curled lip over the back. Now, not to say that this is not a um, sandstoneish or a unidentified rock. There's some uh, pitting that has deeper coloration. There's a bit of rusting and where there was uh, protection, you see the darker remnant crest in this uh, regmaglyph here. It was darker as it was more protected. This is another shade darker. This one was a little bit more exposed, and you can see the very ablated, smoothed edges, and then the sharper edges from breaks, from impact landing. But um, to be able to piece these together to make a significant find, which was already collected together and has just been uh, distributed through carelessness and lack of concern and knowledge, the work area is why it is so important to be able to recreate the larger pieces and do the analysis in an adequate workspace to make a display, to make a opportunity for learning and recreating and finding more important pieces as this probably is a much larger. I know I have other pieces of this type. So this is the problem with the inadequate workspace and lack of proper help to me because it is that important and I think educationally the interest is so very important to get people involved and other people to be able to see and to view and to know and to create and to be able to show it not just on a background on a low resolution video posted on YouTube but in expositions or uh, museums and uh, school museums, uh, educational institutions that need to educate others on what to look for as the contents are what is going to be much more valued as technology, science, transportation, and communications take a rapid upswing for the better, given the right circumstances and right minds cooperatively working together to advance society into a much more advanced travel zone. The rare elements and the super annealed and the potential for superconductor zero resistance, the uh, ultra uh, hard diamonds and the conglomerates that can be contained within are much more important than the aesthetics. We need to learn how to identify old ones because these characteristics would not change even if the biological components have changed, such as amino acids and sugars and fossils would still be there. But more important than that is the advancement being able to create uh, proper exteriors, a proper 
uh, motor uh, combustions that do not require uh, petrol fuel and a rapid communications for long distance for expanding uh, civilization into the uh, space and the universal community. Thanks for your interest, your support, and I look forward to working with some of you who know exactly what I'm talking about. We have discussed in other areas in this. Thank you.